People, people, people. Let's see if we can get this to work. What's happening? Okay. Hey, guys, how are we? Now, I've been out of the saddle for a few weeks, so uh, bear with me. Hello. There we go. Comments starting to come through. Lisa Skinner, how are you? Arcus, hello, mate. How are you going? G'day, brother. No, still working. So once again, I'm using this uh, this program I found a few weeks ago. Now, like I said, guys, I've been out of the saddle. Uh, had a couple of off weeks. So I want to thank you uh, all for your patience. Jess, hello, mate. Yeah, How about that snake? What's going on there, mate? What is going on there? Steve Dangle, hello, mate. Marcus is good. Good to hear. A few people coming on. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. A little bit all, more organised this week. Two for a hair. I couldn't get haircut. I've got a... Anyway, that's a long story. Look at that. It's terrible. Anyway, we'll fix that up. Oh, shit. Lucky I'm not an OnlyFans. Somebody put up an OnlyFans uh, post today. I think it was... Uh, oh, Claire and Jared Wood put up something about... They recommended somebody... Uh, somebody was talking about going on OnlyFans... And they, they gave him the okay. Anyway, here we go. Charlie Houston. Hello, mate. What are you doing, Buffhead? You still in trouble? Ian Weber. Hello, mate. How you going? Sniper. I'm going to start calling you Sniper, mate. I only came up with that the other day. So if you don't know Ian Weber, Ian Weber's got a little nitrous uh, six-cylinder power to run and runs all the drag radial events and always, uh, always, I'm going to say always, Always nars the tree, and uh, usually takes away the prize for the best uh, light during racing on the on the night. So he's a, he's a champion. Here we go. Look at they're coming through. Hey guys, thanks all for uh, tuning in. Dylan Everett, hi mate. How are you? Off to Sydney, but I saw that post. So off to work on the uh, Aeroflow Outlaw Nitro Funny Cars. I think that's what they call them these days. Nathan Rose, mate. I'll have Nathan Rose on a little bit later on. So guys. Thanks for tuning in. We've got some good numbers already. I, I think you can all hear me okay. Going by the comments. Bank is on. Hello. Hello, mate. How are you? Yeah, so I've been a little bit off the last couple of weeks, guys. I do apologise, but uh, if, I'm, if I'm sort of not up to it, I'm, I, I don't think I can give it 100%. I'll, I'll back out of it, and uh, I'd rather not... I'd rather not uh, give half assed effort, you know, if that makes any sense. Anyway... Uh, but I've got a few things on the go, and uh, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there just to start with. Um, we're getting a little bit of help. Let's just say that. Uh, I'm seeing a shrink. I don't mind putting it out there, guys, because it might help someone. But I'm seeing a shrink, and it's helping. And it's just good to talk about some shit sometimes, and and come up with you know those guys are trained. Um, in coming up with ideas and talking through stuff, and so that's that's been helping me. But anyway, it's been flat out year. It's been one of those crazy years, and you guys all know I'm not telling you anything, anything different. DD, hello, good evening, Merry Christmas to you too and your family. Um, anyway, uh, so we're back. So I did a bit of even did a little bit of planning last minute, planning over the last day or so. And uh, I reached out to a couple of guys, and I got a couple of guests on tonight. So uh, I'm still working my way through this program, but it seemed to work all right last time. Uh, I had uh, Damon Patton on there a couple of weeks ago. Good chat to chat with him. He's a racer up there in Mackay at Palmyra. Um, and, uh, so it seemed to work all right with that. So we'll try it tonight. I've got some guests coming on. I want to thank those guys. And, I want, and particularly, I wanted to get these three guys on for a couple of different reasons, and I'll tell you why. As, uh, as we get there, I want to start tonight just by saying thank you to everyone that supported me. Uh, like I said, 2020 has been an interesting year, and I know it's been super hard for a lot of people, but um, we sort of got our own struggles, I guess, and uh, we all sort of deal with it in our own little ways. Uh, I finished work this afternoon for the, for 2020, so a big shout-out to the team there at uh, Harbour City Harley-Davidson and Ape. Uh, where I work in um, guys. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and hope you have a good time uh, I think I tied up most of the loose ends as far as I know um, So I hope I didn't leave you in the shit with anything, but it should be okay uh, Nick Matrevsky. Hello, mate. Hello, Jimmy Um, yes, yeah, so a few guys on tonight. So we'll get that underway shortly 
what I want to do first, guys, I want to make special mention to just some people uh, that helped me throughout the year. Um, and I just want to give them the recognition they deserve because, you know, I couldn't, uh, I could, you know, I can't get through really without the support of some people. And I thank you for that. I'm off to Tasmania tomorrow to see my mum and my sister and that. I'll get the shirt. I'll tell you about the shirt in a minute. Um, off to see my family for Christmas tomorrow. They're in Tasmania. They're down in Devonport. So um, it's a bit touch and go, isn't it, at the moment? I don't know what's uh, going to happen. But anyway, uh, I'm safe to get down there at the moment. Uh, who knows what will happen over there. I'm down there for six days, uh, and who knows what will happen in that time. But anyway, it's uh, the world's changing, and we can't, uh, you know, we well, just got to take it day by day, I think. Uh, on, on that note, I want to thank Mark and Anita Harris, who are my friends and bosses up here, but friends first, bosses second, uh, who've done a lot for me throughout the year and uh, continue to actually. Mark had to drop me off at the airport in the morning, so I want to thank him very much and uh, Anita for everything, for all your support and everything you've done for me. Uh, like I said, all my workmates there in up uh, here, um, I want to thank... Um, all the Gladstone people as well. I've met a lot of good people up. There's a lot of good people up here. Not that I've only, you know, I've met obviously through drag racing, a lot of you, um, but through work and, and that's been good. So uh, it's good to have a little support group up here. As a special mention, Jess is on. Jess and Carlzo, thanks, guys. I love his, uh, he's always looking out for me. And um, if I'm ever in Brisbane or, you know, if I ever need anything. And, and it was, I got a little Christmas card from those guys the other day. Uh, so thanks, guys, for everything. Uh, to my boys, the Bowie boys, of course, we used to go to, um, to uh, high school together. Actually, we used to go to preschool together from kindergarten. So I'm 45 this year. So uh, of that group, we've pretty much known each other for 40-odd years. Uh, and there's, there's, you know, there's a tight little group there. So um, uh, Mick and Pom and Matty B and Gary, my, my mate Gary, who's actually just moved back from America, currently in quarantine. Uh, sitting that out with his family, and uh, he's going to call Australia home very shortly once quarantine's over. I think he's in day five of quarantine at the moment, so it'll be good to catch up with those guys. I want to thank Palmyra Dragway up in Mackay, um, Glenn, Rose, um, Carly, Terry, Jane, uh, all the team up there. They're fantastic. Those guys look after me just next level and I love going to that place and I, I, I hope to be doing it for many years still. Um, they've already locked me in for 2021 to do all the commentary out there, um, including some special events as well. So, um, yeah, well, what can I say? You guys are the best. I, I really do love you guys. Um, and I thank you for all your support and the opportunity. Anything you do for me, it's, it, I love going up there. Um, Benarabi, who got me on board this year, how, uh, pretty much for the season, their they're shortened but lengthened season, if they make the crammed a lot of events in, but Benarabi right here in Gladstone got me on board this year. Uh, so it's a Michael, uh, so the Yank they call him, and um, Alicia, and, um, oh, geez, I've had my Viv, and Beck, and Tammy, and um, Tina, I should say, and Trev, you know who you all are, so thanks, guys, for getting me on board. I also want to thank um, Gup and Nikki and Jess and all the team there at Power Cruise. Uh, I managed to get a couple of Power Cruise events in this year, which is always fantastic. Those guys have been supporting me for a couple of years now. Um, and, and there's been other people that have reached out and helped me throughout the year and just checked in on me and, and said hello and, and just, you know, um, yeah, I really appreciate that. I want to give a special mention to Trent Carter, um, now Trent's uh, a racer in, in Brisbane and he's raced out a few times mainly through Messenger and I promise we'll catch up for a beer mate one day but um, uh, if you if you haven't seen Trent's new uh, radial car, the Ghetto Sled that came in the country a few weeks back uh, and that's going to be a heavy hitter in that but um, Trent's reached out to me a few times mate and I thank you very much for everything you've done and, uh, and your kind words mate from time to time it means a lot and uh, it's been good it's been excellent all right, so on that note, um, you'll see I've got tonight on, uh, uh, this is a guy I want to get on, and I tried to get him on a few weeks ago, but it, he's been flat out, but he's given me his time tonight, and we'll try to get him on shortly. <coughs> um, but uh, this this shirt, this Shagger Show shirt, so uh, was made by um, Disco Dean Ferris and, uh, and his wonderful wife, and his wonderful wife drew this logo up, like this artwork up for me. 
uh, and sent me up these shirts. Now, I've got the other one beside me here. Like, these guys didn't have to do this. They did it out of their own accord, but uh, it's been fantastic. That's the other shirt. So I don't know if you said, but see, on there, it looks back to front, but their reasoning, before, which was spot on at the time, was I was using Facebook Live. So Facebook Live just uses the camera um, that comes on your laptop or your phone or whatever it is. So it actually reverses the picture. And you'll, I know the boys that um, from time to time with Jet 275, if you watch Operation Freedom, Freedom with those guys, uh, Radio Freedom, I should say, um, you'll see sometimes their images, you know, they've got to get the signs back to front and all that sort of stuff. But they even had the forethought to make one with that was back to front. So it came out the right way on the picture. So... I mean, that's that's the sort of people that do stuff, you know, just of their own accord, and I really appreciate that stuff. So I'll get Dean on shortly. I'll see if Dean's on. Um, see if I can find him. So as I said, I'm off to... Um, I'm off to Launceston tomorrow. Where's Dean? Is Dean on? Dean, if, Dean Ferris, if you're on, mate, if you can just... Uh, Message me so I can pick you up. I'll get you on as quick as I can. So once again, bear with me because uh, I guess it's just reading this, guys. Sorry, it won't be a sec. There he is. There he is. Okay, let's get him on. I'll see if I can get him on. Just going to Dean Ferris, you thought? Is that going to send that? Oh, I did it well a couple of weeks ago, and today I bombed it. A couple of the guys catching up. Daniel Patrick, hello, mate. How are you? Every player's been, it's been put in a good place. Yeah, mate. Has. Uh, why can't I get Dean on? I knew I'd bomb this tonight. I should have had more practice. Uh, so, guys, what are you up to for Christmas? Hope everyone has a fantastic Christmas. I can't. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Dean Ferris. So, last time I just sent the link. Yes, yeah. We'll try this, guys. Bear with me a sec. See if we can get Dean on. Put a uh, the headphones in. Get a better. No, not going to work. His name, his name is on the screen, isn't it? Why isn't that working? Oop! It's going on big screen. Just going to Dean Ferris. Oh, what have I done? So last time this came up real easy. I don't want to do that. Oh, I hear my going. <laughs> Dave Hunter, you're a goose. I love you, mate. Yeah. Let's link to instructions for you guys. So, you know, did you get a message there, mate? JD Munro, thank you, mate. His name, his name is on the screen, eh? What's going on there? Ah, oh, not tonight. Anyway, follow that. Hang on, that's me. How good's this guy? This is this is quality here. So I'm sure last time I just did this. I'll find a message from uh, see that it see how it comes up. Oh hang on. Hang on. Hey, hey got it. <laughs> Hello, brother. Got it. We got there. We Hello, got there. Mate. 
So I guess yeah. we're live, hopefully. We are live, mate. We are live. Uh, now, I'll see if I can get that. Anyway, we can see you. I can see you there, mate. Hey, uh, mate, firstly, how are you been? I am fabulous. We've just moved, so we're just trying to get that set up. I had to put up a light just for you today so we could see in here. It's good. Good on you, mate. Made extra effort. Hey, look, I just want to tell you, mate, um, look, I come across, just guys, give you a bit of a background. Uh, I was commentating at Willow Bank there a few years ago. Um, my first sight of this guy, even before I met him, was one night I was at a test and tune at Willow Bank <laughs> Raceway. Um, and up here we have, you know, the taxis. We have silver service taxis. <laughs> so the silver service taxis is like a, apparently a tier above your normal taxi. Anyway, this taxi come out, lights on the roof, the whole thing, you know, the whole setup, and went down the strip in like from memory, like I'm going to say mid tens. Yeah, that night it was running ten fifties, I think. Yeah, I'm going to say, and I'm like, that's a taxi running mid tens. What the <laughs> hell is going on? So that was my first first time at. Um, me. Well, I did meet you at that point, but that's that's what I knew. I'm like, who's this guy? Yeah. Um, and mate, and then I met you a little bit later on. I think at a power cruise or something. But um, yeah, mate. Firstly, tell us about that taxi, mate. Where so the taxi about? was just basically a family wagon that we bought. wasn't really into barras or anything at that stage. Yeah. And then uh, we sort of bought it. Had a few mods on it. Um, spoke to Lee at Real Dino, which I didn't even know at the time. I said, I just want to check that this thing's okay. And he sort of said, what's the mods list? And I told him and he said, oh, unless it's got, you know, an exhaust or something on it, there's no point in me looking at it. I don't want to waste your money. Yeah. So I said, all right, we'll put an exhaust on it, put an exhaust on it, gave it to Lee and it come back with 600 horsepower. So <laughs> that's, that's kind of how the Barra thing started. Because I just, I just couldn't believe it. It blew me away. that It was just basically stock. And then from there, we sort of started racing that. And then obviously the silver service thing was just a no brainer. It was silver. So fitted perfectly and we used to have a lot of fun with that car that that was that was a lot of fun mate it was cool and it was just different to see and i love that sort of stuff that's just different from the norm and you yeah. know and the story behind it like I, and then at some point i caught up with you and we, we we had a chat mate and we caught up we've had a chat a few times and mate it was one of the things i miss about moving up to gladstone is i don't i used to get out the willow bank as you know i used to live down the road i used to get out there yeah. regularly and i used to catch up with a lot of you guys and you were one of them uh, mate, so I do miss that, you know, catching up with a lot of people. But, mate, from there, uh, where did, what was the next involved? Well, I can see the escort panel van in the background there. Well, but, the but... idea with the van come along with um, I, I was literally just sitting there on a uh, drag racing calculator, you know, where you put in the weight of the car yeah. and the horsepower. Um, and, I, and I had a van, a Mark, Mark 1 escort van is my first car. So I just kind of thought, well, if I pull the engine out of the Falcon and put it in an escort van, what times could we run? And the calculator said, like, 850s at 160 or something crazy with <laughs> with 700 horsepower and i was just like well that's a no-brainer we've got to do that so i basically sold the car and, and got into this thing really so it's and we haven't looked back this thing's been an absolute ball did you so, have the car mate did you have the car? no so you? this yeah, this car was actually built i think about 15 years ago it was originally running a 202 holden motor on nitrous Oh, okay. So, and then someone in Sydney put a barra in it, like I think about 12 years ago. Yeah. And then a guy in Mount Isa bought it from there and it sat at Mount Isa, I think, for about eight years. Um, and I saved a random photo of it, you know, probably seven years ago or something. And I randomly posted it. When I sold my Falcon, I randomly posted it on Facebook. I said, has anyone seen this car? Uh, yeah. and, a, and a guy actually got in contact with me and said, yeah, my boss owns it. And I said, does he want to sell it? And he said, here's his number. I gave the guy a call. Basically, he bought it because they were going to open up a track at Mount Isa. They yeah. never did. So it sat in his shed for, I, I, I think, about eight or ten years before I got it. So, and then basically I bought it from there. I spent every dollar I had. I promised my wife we wouldn't touch it for 12 months because, <laughs> you know, I cleaned out the bank account. And within yeah. two days, Lee from Real Dino come and picked it up, and we've been racing ever since. <laughs> now, um, now, so. Mate, it, let, just let the people know, it is registered. It is registered. <laughs> and, and if you follow, if you get on, so the pristine tiling uh, van. Work van. Yeah, pristine work, tiling it's work, work van. van. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And mate, there is the videos, idea. I remember the video you did, you drove into Bunnings and filled it up with all your, all your goodies from Bunnings. Yeah, we went to Bunnings because uh, everyone loves to do a good Macca's run, so we thought we'd do a Bunnings run because we're tradies, so it was a good bit of fun. Tell, 
Mate, what are the PBs for the for the little? So PBs, uh, quarter mile is eight seventy one at one fifty six, I think. Um, and then at Kenda, we run in the uh, uh, what is it, uh, Renegade Radial Renegade yep. class. So that's a five fifty cutoff. Yep. Um, so we we try and run in the five fifties most of the time we can. Sometimes it dips back to the five sixties, but yeah, Lee on the laptop, he seems to be able to get it back to the five fifties most of the time. So, mate, it's um, just a, it's just a cool little car, man. And I wanted to get you on because I mean, like I said, you've supported me, mate. You've been a, a good bloke. Uh, first, you did up a a, um, a crew shirt for me, so I got my Shagger crew bombshell <laughs> yeah. crew shirt upstairs, mate. So I got that there. And then, as I said, I, 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 you probably heard me just before, mate. These shirts were fantastic and were just a real surprise. And, and like I said, big thanks to you and your wife, mate, for putting these together for me. Yeah, that that was Mrs. Disco. She was on that. I I didn't do anything. She done it all. <laughs> <laughs> but you know like we really we really enjoy the fact that drag racing is a community um and, and it's a team you know like we I, I can't believe how much fun we have at the track it, it's blown my mind I, I was such a firm believer of race cars are a waste of money you spend all this money on them and they literally just sit here you know but the, the amount of fun that we have at the track and the, the people that we meet exactly like you the, the characters that we meet the fun that we have as a crew and everyone down the pit lane just just teams up you know anyone yeah. needs food or drink whatever everyone just you know everyone welcomes you with open arms and that's that's what drag racing should be about um and, and the aim with this car has been not spending a heap of money on it you know that that's been the biggest thing trying yeah. to do it on a budget um and, and it's been bulletproof it's been bulletproof i definitely could not have done it without real dino uh at yeah. Redcliffe um and the team behind me there that helped me there as well um but yeah mainly just not spend it doesn't have any fancy stuff on it you know like it's got all the old crap basically that everybody's throwing out um but yeah it, it, it's been really good it, and it's just you don't need a lot of money to go fast and have fun you know i mean like high eights isn't that fast anymore but it's fast in an escort van it's when it's fast, got standard man. suspension under the front of it things like that you know like people People lose track of what's fast these days and, and you know, it is fast. It's very fast. Yeah. So, but, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, Mate, that's it's mainly, a cool thing. Just, and, and lo- and lo- yeah. 2020, mate. What has 2020 meant for, uh, for you and the family? We basically weren't going to race this year. Um, we were going to try and have a year off. But, I mean, COVID come along anyway, so we kind of got forced into that. Um, but hopefully next year. I, I want to race a lot next year. Um, we want to try and do the Kenders, definitely. I don't know if we'll go to Sydney or not yet. We'll probably just stick to the Queensland Kenders at yeah. this stage. And hopefully two Jamborees. Hopefully we'll do Sydney Jambo and Brisbane Jambo. Um, and we'll go from there. We are trying to go to at least Benarabee this year. Basically just to come and see you. Oh, um, good. And we'll, <laughs> we'll just have to find out what night you're working. But we'll probably... I think we'll come up with, with a few cars, hopefully, and just have a night there, whatever it be. Even if it's test and tune, we don't care. Um, yeah, cool, we'll try man. and come up there. And even Palmora, like, I don't know, I'd, I'd love to come up there too, you know. So that's kind of what we want to do this year. Just We just want to race a lot, basically. We just want to do as much as we can and, and see how long the little stock barrel will last, basically, because it's still going. I didn't think it would last this long. So, so just to confirm it, that is the drive line out of the Falcon, eh? out of the taxi. It's not. No, it's not. It's oh, not. So it's I not. sold the Falcon. I was going to pull oh. it out, but it, it was too good to sell and yep. just buy. So I actually yeah, okay. picked up an FG uh, turbo motor off eBay, just scored it for $1,500. Um, and then I was basically looking for a car to put that in. Um, so, and then, yeah, I tracked down the van. So that's, and it's been perfect. Awesome. So, but it, it is just simple. It's it's a stock motor, valve springs, head studs, oil pump. Um, it's got a Pro Boost turbo on it. Shout out to Dico for his turbos; they're awesome. Uh, just two speed power glide, nine inch yeah. diff, but just real old school. Nothing in the nine inch. It's just just a lock R like yeah, just real simple stuff. You know, cheap simple stuff. Just fun. That's what it's meant to be about. It's cool, man. It's cool. I pinched that, actually, I pinched that photo off your uh, your Facebook page today, and, of course, that's a photo from uh, Drag Photos, Dave Reed. Yeah, shout out, to, shout out to Dave Reed. He's always on it. He, he's just awesome, man. I just – I can't believe the amount of times that, you know, we'll be at the track and he's sending me photos at midnight from that day. Like, he's just yeah. awesome. He's so good. Just another so – she, 
Your balls are pretty main wheel stand too, mate. Yeah, so that was the very first hit after not racing for 12 months. So <laughs> That woke um, you up. Yeah, got up there, got up there. I just, I was spewing, I had to back off, but it just kept going. It just wouldn't come back down. So yeah, I still ran 890 on that pass though, so I was happy. Yeah, mid. But I said to Lee on the laptop, I said to him, as long as we run 890s, I'm happy. And I done the big wheelie, come back down. He said, oh, gee, I'm so happy. At least, at least it's still running 890. I'm still doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, man. Yeah. And a great so, bunch of blokes, mate. As you said, you got a good yeah. crew. And, uh, but, but, and put know. on a show too. Like, I love doing a good wheelie. Like, people love it. You know, you've got to get the crowds in there. Like, people have forgotten that we need crowds to get this stuff going. And yeah. it's got to be exciting for people, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not cheap to get in as a spectator anymore. It's got to be fun, you know. Like, yeah. Got to. Got to have more fun out there. Yeah, that's it, mate. And you mentioned Kendo. I mean, the Kendo boys have definitely bought that with the short, you know, the sharp show. The, oh, preferably, I don't mind the eighth one, you know, because it's nice and quick and, and you know. Uh, so, uh, yeah, again, just another event that I, when I heard about eighth mile, I was like, what's the point? You, you yeah, go on half the track, it's yeah. pointless. And then we went to one event. My mate Dan Swanee, shout out to him. He said, go, you'll love it. We haven't looked back. I can't wait for Kendo. It's, it's so much fun. You know, it awesome, is so man. much fun. Just awesome. the way that it's set up, the, the idea of the event, it's just so much fun. And again, you don't have to have a fast car. You, you can go in any of them classes, you know, and you're matched up to your time. So it doesn't matter how fast you are, you're matched up to someone that's as close as you. You're always side by side racing, and that's the best bit. Yep. You know, and it's, it's, it's off the tree. You've got to be on the tree. It's real racing, you know, like. It's, it's just good stuff. It's really good stuff. <laughs> Mate, I love it. I love the passion. Um, and this is what I want to try and do more, Dino. And, like, I've been a bit slack. Well, this year's been a real head, you know what, a F word. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just been. Yeah. But I want to try and do more with, uh, you know, a bit more grassroots races and some characters in the pits and just get a different perspective of what people are doing, man. So, um, yeah. hey. I just want to say thank you to you, mate, for everything you've done, you know, your support and uh, just being a good bloke and, um, and and your passion. Yeah, mate. Well, thank you to, to doing the commentary too. I just, I hope we get we get you back down here someday, but who knows? Maybe, maybe that'll happen. Maybe it won't. Yeah. <laughs> One day. You never know. But if who not, knows? we'll just come to you. We'll, you know, there you go, mate. Fine. Let, we'll, we'll come up. You can commentate for us up there. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> I got spare beds, mate. I'll get you. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we'll work it out. It's easy. I've so, got a van. So we'll got... in the back. There you go. Heaps of room. It would be a bit tight. <laughs> me in there. Once I get in there, my legs will be hanging out the back. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, hey, that's man. it for anyone that doesn't yeah. know. Like, it's just yes, a little yes. barra escort van, you know. Like, it's just, just fun. It's cool, man. And just moved house too, mate. Yeah. Yeah, just moved. But yeah, that's a whole Good other fun. story. <laughs> I'd rather be racing. Next year, mate. Next year. Next year. Yep. Definitely next year. All right, mate. Yeah, all the best. Yeah, Jamboree. It's all fun, you know. Like, people just got to get out there. Got to get amongst it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So, I'm losing all the best to you, out mate. Of oh, I am. Sorry, mate. What's going no, on? I think it's my yeah. end. I told you my internet's not good out here. You're in, you're in the bush. It's probably no, Ash, mate. You can hear me. I can't yeah. hear you. Okay. You got me? No, go on. I can't hear you, Shaga. Sorry, man. Hey, uh, mate, thanks for coming on. We'll say bye, and uh, I'll catch up with you another time. Thanks, Dino. All right. See you later. I can't hear you. Hopefully, Shag is cutting me off. <laughs> All right. Good to have Dean on. Yeah, guys, so like uh, like I said, Dean has um, just been one of those good blokes, and he's helped me out a number of times. So I'll, I'll see if we can remove him here. All right. Uh, so, yeah, good to get him on. Killer car, Daniel. He's good as a Gemini. We've got a Gemini for you there. So, no, it's great to have him on. Uh, Samo Scudis, mate, messaging me, mate. Uh, I send you a link. So, when I get you on, brother, um, I'll send you a link on Messenger. you just got to hit that link and it'll pick you up. And then uh, I should be uh, be able to see you and then get you on. So, I'm still saying Dino there. How do we get rid of that? Are you still seeing Dean at the bottom of the screen there, guys? Oh, there we go. Done. Anyway, I'll get my head around this. I'll keep working on it. Yeah, guys, so, um, yeah, just a guy, you know, like I said, a guy with a lot of passion, and I love the guys that have got a lot of passion for the sport and only fairly new to the sport. 
um, and uh, having a good time and, and making the most of it with his mates and that. And, and like I said, you know, got out of his way, him and his wife, to uh, to make these shirts for me. Uh, I think it was late last year. Um, so I thank them for their support. And I just wanted to get him on to uh, talk about his cool little car uh, and his, you know, a little bit about his uh, involvement in, in the sport and um, just say thanks. Thanks. Look at this, guys. So uh, actually, that side's upside down. This side's the other way around. But this is a this is a mug that this was my secret Santa for a moment of my workmates this year. He got this made up for me now. I don't know if you can see it. If I zoom in, you can see it's got shit all over it. That's uh, secret Santa was from the Christmas party this year, and that's that's burnout rubber because we blew three tyres off one bike at the uh, at the Christmas party this year. Anyway, that's how we party. All right. So hopefully, yeah, you heard Dean say there that um, he's hoping to get up to Benary, which would be great to see. So just give you guys that uh, uh, from this end of town, so to speak, or up in Queensland, or just so uh, Benary from uh, from Brisbane is about uh, six hours drive, six and a half hours drive if you're towing. Uh, so it would be great to have some of those guys if they can make it up one time this year. Uh, to Panarabi and I can catch up with them. If not, um, I'll definitely be down for the Kendra events if I can work them into the program in my calendar for this year. All right. So great to have Dean on. Make sure you... Uh, all the calendars are out now, guys, which is good. So um, actually the regional tracks are very good at... And you guys know how I support the regional tracks, but they're very good at getting their calendars out nice and early. Um, so Benarabee got theirs out real early, so get on the Facebook page for Benarabee and uh, check out the calendar for 2021, and if you can make an event, please do so. Um, I know we had a lot of competitors tow from all over the place um, this year to come to their events because they probably had more events than most um, this year with everything going on. Uh, Palmyra also got their calendar out, so as I said, I'm locked in for uh, Palmyra up in Mackay this year as well and i'm hoping to uh lock in a few others at the moment I, i've got a couple on a couple of uh irons in the fire so to speak so we'll see how we go with that all right i might see if i can get another guy on let's see if we can find someone here so um nathan rose i want to try and get nathan rose on if i can adam Layton, can you run top fuel bike up there mate benny uh benny stevens ran at our all bike and meet um, last year, 2019, uh, ran to the eighth. Went a, did a couple of 440 runs to the eighth, mate, which is, um, I tell you what, he's got some big kahunas off Benny Stevens and uh, did pretty well. And, you know, just to the eighth was nice and safe. Uh, but uh, gave it everything. It was it was a real treat to see. So one of the highlight events at, Pal at uh, Benarabi every year is that all bikes. That's in August. So, guys, get on the calendar there. Let's see if I can find someone here, guys. All right, Nathan Rose, where are you, brother? Drop me a message so I can uh, get you on there. Adam Layton, showing up on the screen. Why is that showing up on the screen? I don't know what I'm doing, obviously, clearly. Nathan, anyone? Nathan Rose. Let's see if we can find him. There he is. Let's see if we can get him on. All right, so we're sending this link. Let's see if we can do this. I'm sure it was easier than this. I wonder if they've changed it, the settings. Like I said, it's been a couple of weeks since I've used the guy, so I apologise. So I sent a message to Nathan. Let's see if we can get him on shortly. So you'll see I've got... Um, I tried to get Nathan on earlier in the uh, uh, a few weeks back. There he is. Mate, have you got my message? Hopefully you have. You just got to hit that link, mate. So I've sent you, if you go to your message, I've sent you a link. You've got to hit that link and that you should pop up on my screen once you do that. And then I can pick you up from there. So, um, so I've got Nathan on because uh, Nathan's in the process of building the radial car. I want to talk to him a little bit, but he's also heavily involved. Uh, because he's from Townsville in uh, something that's going on up there, and I wanted to talk about him, about a big announcement that's come out of there in the last couple of weeks. Uh, 
I'm not pop it up yet. Hopefully that'll show up soon. Daryl Freeman, mate, you too. Thanks, mate. You have a great Christmas as well, bud. All right, so obviously I'm going to have to work on this so it's a bit for, a bit cleaner because it's just not happening, is it? No, I'm still working with new stuff. So hopefully you got that uh, that link. Yeah, guys, the best way to do it, if you can, like I said, if you can get on the, uh, so Pell Moira, if you can get on Benari's Facebook page, uh, and just, you know, if you can support one of those tracks uh, sometime throughout 2021, that'd be fantastic. Won't let me on. Okay. Why? Why, why, why? Don't send it again. It's just not happening, is it? I do apologise, guys. This is real. <laughs> Not good. All right. What settings going to tell me? Not much. Won't let you on. All right. So Nathan just messaged me there, so he won't let him on for whatever reason. All right, what about Sammy Scooters, mate? Are you ready? Can I get you on? Are you available, mate? Let's see if we can get Sam on. I'm sure it was easier than this a few weeks ago. Ah, this is quality, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm having a crack. So, guys, let's hope, uh, obviously, I mean, it's got to be, and it? 2021's got to be better than 2020. Just the fact that, uh, just the fact that there's, there's calendars out. I mean, we sort of, we can plan ahead. We've got an idea of what uh, what's coming up, what we can possibly do, can't do. <laughs> That's rocket Tinder, Dave Hunter. I'm too old for that, mate. I gave up. I'm too much of a mess myself. I don't need to drag anyone else into this shit. <laughs> no? Good stuff. Well, this is going well, isn't it? This is working fantastic. Dave, under 2020, good evening. Mate, don't do the truth, eh? Don't do the truth. Oh, how come it keeps picking up that? I don't know. Keeps picking up comments in. You should receive a link. Just follow the links from there. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, right? Eh? That's what I tried. Anyway. Gary Hart, mate. Same to you, buddy. Same to you. Yeah, copy the clipboard, messenger. I'll try uh, Nathan Rose again. I'm going well, eh? Just quality. Just quality. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. We got him. We got the man. Hey, oh. Shaya. Hello, mate. How What's are happening? You? Very good. Hey, how am I going? I don't know what I'm doing. I got mate, you're here. doing better than me, that's for sure. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you really well, mate. Tell Nathan that he's got to get off the live feed and then open it and it'll open up for you. There's a tip. Is that what it is? Good on you, mate. Hey, thanks, mate. No. Hey. Merry Christmas. Mate, and to you, hey. Let, thanks I got, for... I got, the, I got the tree behind me, mate. There's a present for everyone. Mate, you're all set up. You're ready to go. Absolutely. Sam Santa. DD's just said Sam Santa. <laughs> Sam, I can't see any comments, so you got to tell me all the comments, mate. All right, mate. Cool, cool. Hey, mate, uh, Thanks. Thanks for coming on tonight, mate. I know you're flat out. I know you're busy. Um, this time of year is always hard for people. But, um, mate, yeah, I just want to – I wanted to get you on because I want to thank you and, and Vic, of course, mate. I, I know I couldn't get you both on, but um, I just want to thank you for your support for the year. Shagger, you're a legend, mate. Uh, you're what the sport needs, and we need more people like you because uh, we've got to grow this sport of ours, and uh, we love you, mate. You're, you're part of our team, and we'd love to be part of your team, mate. Shagger show all the way. Good, mate. 
it's it's the passion we share, isn't it? And I mean, sometimes we kick, get kicked in the nuts because of it, because we we say what we think, um, and you know, we come out with some uh, some stuff sometimes. But I mean, it's the passion, and and it, it, we do what we do. Ah, uh, Shags, that's what it is, man. And uh, look, I, I I love racing a car. That's probably my biggest passion. Um, but talking about racing cars with other racers is what we normally do, uh, and that's why. Uh, that's why we love it, man. And you, you commentating about race cars is what you love to do. So at the end of the day, my friend, uh, there's nothing better than doing what you love. And uh, it's, a, it's a labor of love, but uh, definitely love talking about radio racing and racing in general. But it, it's been a tough year. Um, and I know, I know, hey, mate, look, let's be honest. I mean, we've, we've all struggled from time to time throughout 2020. And, uh, and, and sometimes it's hard to sort of put yourself out there, isn't it, like we do? Uh, yeah, look, I think the general public understand a lot of the time, Shags, that we're normal and uh, we've got our own issues and our own, uh, our no, own lives that we're dealing with. I think that's our problem. We're far from normal. Uh, no, we are far from normal, definitely on the spectrum, mate. But on uh, at the best of times, uh, you know, the, the shows, uh, and I, I know for yourself it helps you relax a little bit from your normal life and uh, that's what happens to us. It's more that it takes a lot of time to try and get these shows yeah. up and running and um and trying to get the right guests on as you're, you're aware and dealing with technology yeah 100 i don't know am i allowed to say the russians did it tonight i don't know we'll work I mean, it out in about 30 it, seconds it might be mate all the chinese is yeah are we blaming the chinese for everything uh, the chinese are to blame for everything mate and uh so i'm blaming them china mate exciting times down there and of course you had frank on a number of times this year but uh sydney mate i, I can't wait to get down there and have a look because all reports are it's fantastic actually i think there's some testing going on tonight in there private mate private I, uh, i'm not sure if there's a private hire tonight if there is i'm cracking it because i'm not there but um i have raced the uh the new surface um and mate we went we went 150 mile in that piece of shit uh, falcon that i've got so, uh, mate, the track is unbelievable. Start line, amazing. I'm not rubbing it in anyone's faces, but, you know, you guys shut the border on us. So, I don't know. We've got the track. Mate, what? Because a couple of blokes, what, had a pizza or something at North Sydney or so. What happened? Something happened. I don't even no, know. No, I'll tell you the truth, right? Barrelos yeah, yeah. put on a massive lamp spit, uh... and a couple of these guys came back from overseas, and they came down to have a bit of this lamp, but just so happens they already had COVID, man, so don't blame us, you know what I mean? So it's probably food poisoning, not COVID. It's correct. more than likely food poisoning, not COVID, but they've shut the whole country down. So, know. you know. Strange times, mate. I'm about to fly out to see my mum and uh, sister and that in Tassie tomorrow, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm coming back next week. Who knows what will happen over the next few days? Are you allowed? Yeah, I am allowed to get there, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm from New South Wales. They, they just That's told me... I got... No, no, I fly straight over the top of New South Wales. Oh, know. okay. They, they, they yeah. made us hand in our passports yesterday, so yeah. we're not allowed to even fly out to Tasmania. Yeah. Mate, it's been suggested over the years we should have a gate. You know. Look, there's probably needs to be a gate anyway, but the, the likes of people like me wouldn't have been let in from my grandfathers and so on and so forth. So I'm glad there wasn't a gate, to be honest with you, Shags, but uh, I think we need a new one. <laughs> I've got to make you laugh, man. We can't just sit here talking shit all night. Oh, yeah, that's it, eh? That's it, mate. Your car, mate. How are we going? Which one? Oh, hang on. No, the the the, the Commodore, mate. Let's go back to the hull. You got you you <laughs> take both fields, mate, don't you? Let's... Yeah, that that's the best way to be, mate. Just uh, yeah. put a foot in each door, and whichever one wins. Uh, yeah. Jet two seven five, man. I've uh, I've spoken to Kyle. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot going on in twenty twenty for Kyle, and and trying to put everything up. So, mate, I've just told him to stick to your timeline. Um, if I crack it and go see the car, I, I don't know, I'll probably end up working for Kyle at one point. So I just told him, do what you got to do, mate. And uh, and look, I want I want it done right and I want it done safely. And I had some other options to accelerate the car, but, mate, I've left it how it is. And uh, yeah. I want I want Kyle to finish it, man. And I'm proud of uh, what, it, what it looks like now. All the bar work's done, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the floor's done. Um, I'm pretty sure the rear end's done. Uh, so we're not... We're not that far off now. It's just a matter of, you know, putting the, um, all the bits and pieces together now, getting the engine sat back in there, putting the box back in um, yeah, and, you know, finalising the front end clip side of it. But, uh, look, Jet 275 is definitely a, a plan for 21, mate. And um, I, I just hope these borders and Santa gives me a nice little present and uh, we'll put two turbos on Jet 275 and see what happens. Yeah, mate. And that uh, FGX, mate, what a cracker. 150 mile an hour. I was just talking to Dean 
Yeah, Dean there before, so I was saying, like, he's got the Barra engine in that little Escort wagon, but to make, a, make a full weight FGX go 150 mile an hour, that's not mucking around. Mate, I, uh, I'm not a big Ford fan. Um, I'm, a, I'm a horsepower fan, um, so getting from nine HSVs that I've owned to a Ford was a big step for me, mate. I took a bit of therapy, and my yeah. wife gave it to me for at least three weeks straight, but... Um, <laughs> But uh, look, uh, the, the best thing I can tell you about the Barra engine is it's uh, it's double the horsepower for half the price. Uh, if that's the, the analogy that I can give you, Shags, um, the car is a very heavy car. Yeah. Um, mate, it's uh, no word of a lie. It was 42.50, men with me in it. Or, or be it, it had a full tank of uh, E85. So I'll, I'll be able to uh, to shave off some weight in the, in the future. But at the end of the day, man, it's a 4,000 pound plus car. Um, it's showing almost identical horsepower to what it made. Um, yeah. And, look, we, sh we probably should go about 153, 154, maybe 155 shags. Um, yeah. But I'm aiming for, like, a 940, 950. Um, okay. And, mate, that's that's the goal for the car at this stage. It'll need a bigger turbo off the bat. So I, I can probably run 160 mile, but let's see how we go. Yeah, unreal, man. That's unreal. <laughs> drive hey, it there, yeah. drive it back. Yeah, and, and just, sorry, Shags, just want to tell you that new real street class, man, that's – that's no joke, man. I got uh, I got screwed and neared properly by Tim Nielsen and the whole IHRA team. Yeah, um, yeah, mate, yeah. I, I, I feel like I was taking Jet 275 back there. They were going over it like a fine tooth cane. But um, they, they weren't taking to too many jokes either, to be honest with you, on the day. Uh, pretty strong, no, yeah. Fair dinkum. Um, no, because they, they, they send a logbook for the car. Oh, true. So that, yeah, so the car has to be, as, as per it's driven on the street, Okay. Um, they go through everything, man. They'll 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 set the gearbox, make sure it doesn't start in neutral. Yep. It's got to have fire extinguisher. It's got to have return overflow. It's got to have all the standard shit. We've got to have all the race suit stuff as well, shags. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, if you've got all of that, you can run real street, and then mate, uh, you know, obviously you can change tires. But it is what it is. It's a good thing, mate, because I mean we're moving with the times, isn't it? I mean we had it up at Palmyra uh, last meeting. We were in a real street bracket, but because we're IHRA up there at Palmyra. Yeah. Um, and I think we had 13 cars show up, and like nine of them from the, were the one shop. Uh, but it was it, it was a good thing there because it's great to see late model stuff out there getting it done. Well, Shags, I, I I can't reveal anything on tonight's show for you officially, but I can tell you that uh, that the IHRA has listened to a bit of the commentary around the uh, real street ruling, and uh, there'll be some announcements fairly shortly, mate. Awesome, awesome, man. We got to uh, do it. We got. We got to get more people. We got to get new people into the sport. We got to give them different avenues, different ways to come in, uh, and and you know, streetcar is perfect way to do it. Well, Shags, I can tell you on your show this evening, mate, that uh, the IHRA definitely listens to your show. Um, they, they they listen to to all the films of media. They listen. To, they watch the comments, um, and albeit some of the comments are a little bit hours ago, but um, the boys know that that's part of the parcel. And uh, and mate, I'm going to tell you the races spoke. And the IHRA listen. So uh, if ever there are people saying that, you know, the, the sanctioning bodies don't listen, mate, I'll, I'll give it to you straight uh, on the Shagger show that, uh, mate, they are alive and listening to every single thing that we're saying about the sport and, and daily trying to make it better. So I'll, I'm sure Maurice and, uh, and Timmy will have some announcements. I don't know if it's just before Christmas or just after, mate, but we should get them on the Shagger show. There you go. We'll do that, eh? Exclusive, mate. Thanks for sharing your info, eh? No, Have you're all right, mate. That's that's what we've got to do, mate. We've got to support the shags. Well, we've got to spread the word, mate. And, and it sort of goes back, mate. This is the new way to do it, isn't it? Because back when, and we'll talk about Andrew, because, I mean, they're another governing body, of course. Mm -hmm. But back in the old Andrew days, you had to be a member of a club. And then yes. you, when you're a member of a club, you, you, you went to meetings, you voted for rule changes, you, you put in proposals, and, and then it went to Andrew, and then they made a decision. Well, maybe this is the new way to do it. They look at our, you know, they look at our shows, they look at the comments on Facebook, whatever, um, and they see what the people want. Look, Shags, uh, it's not too far away from what you're saying, uh, given the fact that um, a lot of members can't go to these AGMs or, you know, it's a close-knit unit for some of these membership um, areas. So it's made it difficult in the past to get um, uh, the racer heard. But, mate, yeah. the, these, these new social media platforms have definitely made it a lot easier. Um, and I can tell you, mate, that um, the IHRA, and, and credit to them, and, mate, and, and Andrew as well, I, I know they listen to the racer. I'm not singling out any sanctioning body, mate. Plutes are, 
I, I don't want to upset anyone, especially before yeah. Christmas, mate. I know that uh, Steve and the team do uh, amazing things uh, with, with Andrew as well. But I, I will tell you on a specific situation uh, regarding Real Street, the IHRA has listened to the racer. That's cool, mate. That's yeah. awesome. And that's what we need, Shanks. That's what we need, man. And uh, you know, we need we need more races at the track, and, and you know, we need people like you commentating and keeping everyone coming to the track. Happy days, man. We need you guys. Like I said, the, the passion, spreading your passion, and, and putting yourselves out there. It's not easy to do, mate, is it? Uh, it's not easy, man. I cop it like uh, a little bit, and I've I've uh, I've tamed it down in the last six or seven months, mate. There's been a lot going on in my life too, Shags. But uh, at the end of the day, mate, I've got to I've got to help the. Um, the tracks and I've got to help the sponsors and I've got to help the racers get noticed just like yourself, mate. That's what these, these shows are about. I mean, you had that, that amazing panel van with the Barra, mate. What a, what a legend car that is. It'd be great to see that out just racing. And it's not about how fast you go, Shaka. We've said it before. It's about enjoying the sport. I just, yeah, like we're, we're a big family at the end of the day. And some of, we got some dodgy cousins and that, but we're still a big family. So, you know what I mean? You can't control the dodgy cousin, and unfortunately, they end up in the slammer, and there's nothing we can do about it. So we just take their food at Christmas time, and we move on. But um, yeah. Shags, the best part is, mate, that uh, I know the people love you, mate. We love you, and uh, I, uh, I'm wishing you a very merry Christmas. That's why I wore my Santa hat today, on top of my uh, Yankees hat. I've, I've, you know, I, I normally, uh, I normally have that happening, mate. But um, Shags, what's 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 in store for you, mate? You're coming down to Sydney. I've spoken to Tarabay at least thirty times. He's probably sick of me telling him that you've got to get Shagger on, but uh, you're, you're going to come and commentate in Sydney, mate. That's it. Mate, I, I'd love to. I'd, I'd uh, I'm locked in for Palmyra and Mackay next year, mate. They've, I've locked them in because um, those guys have been fantastic to me. I haven't made a decision on Benarabee, my local track here. I, I want to sit down and look at calendars and that because I don't want to overcommit or, you know, because at the end of the day you sort of um, you got to have a look and, you know, not too bad. I got to. I got to work. I don't want to put too much pressure on my workmates and that if I'm not there. But anyway, we'll see what we can do, mate. But it's uh, 2021's got to be better, mate, and uh, we'll keep pushing on. Now, Shags, what's your prediction, mate? I want to know who's going to be the fastest in 21 on radials. Uh, mate, I'd like to see uh, Perry get that thing moving a bit better. Yeah. Um, and and I believe the Sydney track will bring that. I believe give the guys a little bit more confidence. Um, whoa, where do you go? I don't, oh, let I don't me know. ask a different question, Shags. I'm sick of all this little girl talk. Oh, we need some real smack talk in the in this scene, right? And uh, look, Matty McCarthy's been trying for a good five months solid to try and start something up. There's no bites, no. so we we need a rivalry. So, who's the biggest rival to more teasers, like in terms of brand? Oh, in terms of brain. Oh, where do yeah. you go? Yeah. So, so yeah, what's the like... what's the what's the alternative? Like the opposite of Red Bull is Monster. Yeah. So the V8 supercars have got that. We need an alternative to Maltesers to start a rivalry. <laughs> Mate, all I can, you know, what my problem is. As soon as you talk chocolate, I'm hungry. No, I, I understand, Shags. I should have given a different example. So, <coughs> well, what we should have done. Is, yeah, mate, a bit of COVID, that's stress. I'm in New South Wales. Northern Beaches. Northern Beaches. I'm not in the Northern Beaches, for Christ's sake, mate. I need a passport. I'm a wog. I'm not allowed into the Northern Beaches. They locked me out of the Harbour Bridge. So I'm not, I'm not allowed, I'm not allowed that way. That's only, anyway. for, that's only for the hoi polloi, mate. I'm just putting it out there. Um, now, Shags, who's going to have the biggest battle in radio in Australia? you got to tell us, mate. The people are listening. A 275, I'm looking forward to 275 again this year. Um, what's, I don't know, Shuey Henry's always up the thing. He's always got cars for sale and that, but, you know, um, I want to see his thing at full swing against Crossy and, you know, there's a few other boys stepping in there as well. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, somebody else has got a, a club sport or something coming on 275s, twin turbo big block thing, um, being built in Toowoomba. You know, I want to see him up at the front as well. It's a um, senator, mate. It's a senator, not oh, a club sport. Don't do me yeah. like that, mate. Are you kidding? I'm walking off now. That's it. Finish. No, no. Well, oh, that's Eddie. Sorry. Now, nah, look, I, I, if my car was ready, I'd be calling people out. But you can't call anyone out if you've got two feet. And the FGX ain't fast enough for anyone. So at the end of the day, uh, I, I'd like to see some more smack talk, uh, Shags, and uh, we need your help, mate. We've got to get them all psyched up. Jared Wood's yeah. got a 275 car coming, doesn't he? Uh, I believe so. Hey. Yeah, come on, man. There's a lot of shady characters out there, right? Eh? There's a lot. Listen, going on mate, the I know you've got the intel, Shagger, 
That's why I came on the show. I was just trying to get the intel for my show, I'll be honest. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family in uh, 2021, mate. Uh, I'll make a promise I'll be down there at some stage and we'll catch up. And uh, But once again, mate, thanks for your support and everything you do. Shagger, thanks for everything you do. Merry Christmas to everyone watching the Shagger Show, mate. Make sure you all tune in. And uh, Shags, thanks for having me, mate. Love you, mate. On you, mate. Thanks, mate. Hey. See you, buddy. See you, mate. Bye. All right. How good's that? So uh, great to have him on. Like I said, those guys do a lot. Uh, and if you don't already, guys, make sure you get over there and uh, follow the uh, Jet275. Operation Radio Freedom. The boys are on Thursday nights and as much as they can. And they, uh, they've had some big guests. A good thing to do is go through uh, some of their back catalogs. So we only a few weeks ago, they had Shane Tecklenburg on, uh, which was just fantastic. And Shane's a uh, big tuner in the United States. Uh, and had some great stories in particular. Uh, not only does he tune drag cars, he tunes uh, hill climb cars. Uh, he did a, did a car for Pikes Peak this year, um, but also land speed record cars. And um, the car that he tuned this year, George Petit's uh, Speed Demon, was uh, a car that went 491 miles uh, over the, the five mile course at, you know, over there uh, on the salt this year. So, uh, just, just get on there and, and just enjoy what, what our sport's all about and what other people are doing, and, and those guys do a fantastic job. Not only, I can only get uh, Sam on tonight because uh, the boys are only together pretty much on their Thursday night, but also Vic as well and his team. So uh, uh, exciting times, guys, exciting times. Nathan Rose is still on now. Hey, uh, mate, I saw your comment before about a page. So, mate, it actually is a, a web page that I'm using and then it streams to uh, Facebook. So uh, I don't know if you want to try again, mate, or I can try and send the link again. And you hit that link and you'll actually go to the web page, but it'll actually come through to me and then I stream it live to uh, Facebook. So we might try that again. I'll give that one more go. But uh, big shout out. Thank you. Uh, thanks to Sam for coming on tonight. We'll try and get Nathan Rose on again because, like I said, um, I had him on, we balls it up big time. I went Facebook Live with him a few weeks back, and uh, it was like I said, it was fine on my end uh, from what I was seeing on the screen, but it come up like dogs breakfast uh, on the screen and had him zoomed in and blurry and all sorts of shit. So, uh, Nathan, I've just sent you uh, once the page opens, follow there you go. Just log it into Facebook, Nathan, once the page opens, yeah. So, Dino just. So you'll get that link again, mate. Just hit that link for me. Hopefully we'll get you on. So uh, let's go. I'll just go through some of the comments. Can you guys not see the comments? So apparently you guys, can you guys see the comments at all? Maybe you can't. Okay, I'll have to work that out too. Maybe you can't. Skittles. So a couple of suggestions, of course, uh, Sam talking there about uh, trying to get a bit of rivalry going against Perry this year, of course, the uh, the Maltesers car. There's my mum. My mum's on. Hey, Ma, see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm in Tassie this time tomorrow. Yeah, I will be in Devonport. This time tomorrow night, I'll be in Devonport. Happiest mum in the world. There you go. Okay, you can see the comments. All right, cool. Maybe you just can't see them while the, uh, the guests can't see them while they're on. What's Santa bringing you? Dave Hunter, mate, uh, the end of 2020. Comments are showing. Cool, cool. Um, the, the end of 2020, I hope bloody Santa's bringing me. Uh, no, nah, I bought, you know, I just bought myself some uh, bits and pieces, mate. No. Uh, I bought an old, well, when I say old, like a 2000 Statesman a few weeks ago. So that's me cruiser. Just been spending a little bit of money on that with bits and pieces. So Gary Hunt. Hello, mate. Uh, well, how about yourself, Dave Hunter? So, Dave Hunter, track prep extraordinaire. If you go quick, if you quick, go to the old man's pizza shop. Oh, of course. Yeah, I can talk to Jess later. It's nearly past your bedtime. I might have to ring you tomorrow, mate. So, yeah, flying to Brisbane uh, tomorrow morning, leave Gladstone here nice and early, into Brisbane tomorrow morning, and then I've got about six hours to burn before my flight from uh, Brisbane to Launceston. 
So flying straight over that COVID stuff. Dave Hunter. So let me have a look, guys. I'll just get on the phone here. Nathan Rose. Don't tell me I can't get you on again. Yeah, mate. Oh, I need you to hit that link, mate, please. If you listen. Kriger, hello, mate. We were just talking about uh, getting some radial smack talk going for uh, for 2021, mate. You're always up for a bit of that. And, uh, shout out to you, mate. Hope you have a uh, good Christmas, you and your family. Good to see Johnny your Bibbs car, mate. Put that you shared that post this afternoon. One of the OG small tire cars. Dave Hunter. Mel Black, hello, mate. There's still no luck there. It looks like with Nathan. Won't let me on there. Okay. Won't let me, not sure why. What's Dave Hunter doing? What are you doing, Jimmy? Might try and get someone out. Why not? More the merrier. Let me click on Messenger. We'll try this. What could possibly go wrong that we haven't already done tonight? So, again, guys, if you're not uh, following the boys at Operation Radio Freedom, make sure you get over there Thursday nights. And as I said, those boys get some guests on. They've had Duck on a few times. And if you're into radio racing, you know who Duck is, Donald Long, of course. Throwing it out there. There you go. Peter Duffy, hello, mate. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you too. Lance Gibney, how are you, mate? So like I said, guys, I reckon they've changed the settings on me or something since I used it with Damon Patton a few weeks ago and it was pretty easy. I didn't have to do all this sort of stuff. Anyway, I'll look into it more. Been out of the seat for a couple of weeks. So uh, this will be the final show for 2020 for me because this time next week, next Tuesday night, I'll actually be flying back from Launceston into Brisbane at, at this time. I think I'll land about 20 past nine. So, uh, again, guys, I just want to thank you for your support and thank you for tuning in. Uh, I've gone out and I bought, I think I, I mentioned, but... Um, Gone out and bought a little bit of equipment to do some stuff at the track and in the pits and that with some, uh... yeah, no, that's not going to work. All right. No, close this tab. No, maybe that's not going to work. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hey! You got me, brother? Nathan Rose. I've got Nathan Rose on, maybe. I can see you, mate. I don't know if you can hear. Maybe you got bad uh, reception there. You hear me now? Oh, I got gotcha. you. It's a little bit a little bit patchy, mate. Might be the reception out here, mate. I'm out at work, so it's probably bugger all service here. Uh, there you go. What are you outside now, mate? Sweet. Maybe that's what it is, but you... tell me what you got me, bud. We'll, we'll give it a go. Can you hear me, mate? Maybe not. I can't hear you, mate. All right, so it dropped there. So I tried to get Nathan on, guys. Like I said, he's out at uh, work, so. Uh, he works out in the mines here. I'm not sure exactly where he is, but obviously he's a little bit out of town. So it wasn't up real clean, unfortunately. Dave Hunter didn't work either. I don't know. We're not having much luck tonight, are we? got Sam. We've got, uh, we got this guy, Dean Ferris, on earlier. Maybe no one else. All right, who else wants to have a go? I'll, 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 I'll shoot the breeze with anyone. Who wants to have a go? Anyone else want to have a go? I'll send you the link. We can have a go. 
more the merrier. We might as well make the make the most of it tonight. So yeah, Junior, mate, Merry Christmas to you too, mate. Hope you and the uh, the young fellow. What old Lukey put his finger in a, a bicycle chain or something? I saw a post up there earlier. So uh, apologies to Nathan Rose. Well, uh, I'll talk, tell you a little bit about that, guys. So what's been happening up here in, well, it's actually North Queensland when you talk about Townsville. So uh, Nathan and Stephen Summer and, uh, and the committee up there have been working uh, closely with the, the government and the councils and all that. And funding has pretty much been approved for a motorsport precinct in Townsville, just outside of Townsville. Uh, my tech skills are crap, Dave, huh? Yeah, stick to the tractor, mate, and that glue gun. Um, uh, and uh, have just been approved for some really decent funding to go towards, as I said, a motorsport precinct, and part of that will be a drag strip. So, um, so that those of you that know or you've been around the sport for a long time, there used to be a drag strip in Townsville. Uh, and I believe that closed, it's probably, I'm thinking, I probably should do my research, but it'd be at least 15, maybe 20 years ago. Uh, and the announcement is through the government up there is that some funding has come through uh, and some work has already started on that motorsport precinct. So it'll be a driver training facility, uh, which is always a fantastic thing. And uh, the governments love that sort of stuff uh, through the drive it. I could get that wrong, Nathan will correct me, but I, I believe it's the Drive It um, company. So that'll start. And uh, as I said, like in the works, there will be a drag strip in Townsville, which is just fantastic. Uh, and another drag strip in Queensland, which is uh, going to be, fin like I said, it's just going to be great. And uh, just messaging back and forth with Nathan there a little while ago, a couple of weeks ago. And I haven't, uh, like I said, I haven't been on since. Um, there we go. Here we go. Michael Foster. Oh, was that, oh, was that recently? I thought it was long. There you go. Michael Foster just told me close the towns will close their gates in September 2012 or 13 from memory. So oh, there you go. I thought it was a bit longer than that. But um, so there's plenty of happening up here in central central North Queensland because uh, the other thing that might be happening and uh, after a lot of interest is up here in Rockhampton, which is only like an hour and a quarter north of me here in Gladstone. Of course, the uh, the Summer Nats company come up with uh, a car event called Rocky Nats, and that was to be the first one this year, and that's pretty much sold out. The the the, t the whole uh, town of Rockhampton was sold out pretty much for everyone that was coming to Rocky Nats, and uh, COVID kicked that in the nuts for 2020, and it didn't happen, and it's been postponed till uh, till next year. Uh, and I think the government and the council and, and whatnot and the business people of uh, Rockhampton are going, oh, hang on, um, we're on to something here. And there's some big talks and some uh, a lot happening behind the scenes about a Rockhampton motorsport precinct too. So, I mean, it's all, it's uh, it's good to see a lot of that sort of stuff's happening. I, I don't know about you guys, but what I've noticed particularly um, this year is a lot of people are taking sort of stock of where they're at and haven't been able to... Uh, to go away on holidays and all that sort of so they pump some money into projects and uh cars bikes whatever the case may be engine upgrades whatever and uh there's, there's just a lot happening at the moment so i think uh 2021 is going to be interesting uh and i'm really looking forward to it. as long as all this shit sort of i don't know finishes pretty early there's um of course this thing in sydney is a little bit of a worry and uh shout out to all my sydney peeps Hope you're all safe. All right. So it's not going to work, unfortunately. So anyway, um, I apologise, Nathan, mate. Uh, I don't know why that's not working. I will do a bit more research before this. But uh, next Shagger Show will be 2021, guys. So uh, thanks for coming on tonight. Uh, thanks for your support throughout 2020. I wish you all a, uh, a fun, safe and enjoyable Christmas and New Year. Uh, and uh, we'll be back in 2021. Like I said, all the calendars are out. <laughs> but I've just had something pop up, said Shagger's boyfriend. And, oh, here we go. Hang on. Have we got a late entry? <coughs> hey, it's working. Mate, have you not even got a shirt on? 
No, oh, but oh. I want to do the rest. <laughs> Guys, Dave Hunter is on with me. We got him on. Look, if Dave Hunter can make it work, anyone can make it work. <laughs> You're telling me, bud. <laughs> Good stuff, I'm bud. A, I was trying to look for some porn, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. Huh? You tucked in the wrong yeah, I'll Get rid of that moisturizer and tissue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Dave Hunter on. Guys, now, if you don't know Dave, you, where you've been hiding. But Dave, uh, he, of course, head track pro. I'm going to call you head track pro guy. I don't uh, care. And it will over grace. There we go. Uh, <laughs> for a number of seasons, mate. And uh, how have you been, mate? Because, like I said, I, I mentioned to Dean Ferris earlier, uh, the thing I miss most about moving up here is that I don't see a lot of people I used to see regularly, and you're one of them, bud. Oh, thanks, bud. Yeah, I haven't been doing much, yet. just doing, like, the family thing and working at a different job. So, How's that all going, mate? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Just kicking ass. In the mornings, taking names in the evening, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 2020, mate, it's been uh, an interesting uh, year. Oh, uh, what a kick in the deck, eh? Hey? Yeah. Like fucking, yeah. you know, just from everything and then you know, losing so many great people and just, oh, uh, mate, yeah, mate, you just wake up and just see what stage of Jumanji you're in, you know. Yep. It's been, it's been strange, man, and, and I think the, uh, the hardest part is not knowing what's around Yeah, 100%. Through. Like one minute, yeah, oh, the yeah, borders are open. And, you know, oh, no, someone had pizza and we're all going to croak now. So close yeah. the borders. It's just, you know, just bullshit. Yeah, yeah, 100%, man. And uh, family, uh, what are you doing for Chrissy? Uh, just doing the family thing, mate. Catch up with um, brother and sister and crap at her place. And then got uh, other the in-laws in here on Christmas Day, I think. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. chilling yeah. like a villain, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Cool, man. Looking forward to the next event, mate. Will I make is it the ninth, mate? We got that. Uh... Yeah, mate. Yeah, Jan ninth. Yep. Uh, yeah, I haven't been there since November. I think myself for the last QDRC. So that is kind so of having true. kind of having withdrawals, I suppose you'd say. Mate, yeah. I mean, like you know, I, as you know, I lived down the road, mate. I used to be there. If I wasn't there once or twice a week, I it was something wrong. But um, yeah, yeah no, I thought you, I thought you were stalking me at one stage, but you know. I think it was a 50 50 thing. <laughs> oh, mate, human, mate. Human. Yeah, me, me watching you, watching me watch you, you know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> mate, uh, what do you reckon? What do we got off for next year? You're looking like Kenda, mate. We got different uh, different things coming with Kenda and that, or you? Oh, I'd let the believe, mate. I think the thing the boys are uh, at the laboratory making up some more toys uh, from what I've seen on posts and stuff. So, whatever they put their heads to, mate, they nail it. So, it should be good. Mate, I know one's going north of me here. I know exactly where that's going. One of those. Uh, okay, yeah. So, um, yeah. So that one's uh, will be heading up there shortly. I think that's the one they were they were packaging up the other day. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe one will turn up under my Christmas tree. Hint, hint. But probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, uh, I don't know if you saw the other day and uh, on social media. So Brian Lyons, which is a uh, he's part of the Competition Plus team over there, and he's also a, a big commentator. He put up a. Th uh, a post, a big story about track prep. And oh, okay. he, he said it's affecting the sport, mate, and he's, he's copped a, a big lot of lot of backlash, mate. But uh, what do you reckon? What do we, where do we go with all this? Like, has it got a little bit out of control? Uh, yes and no, mate. you just got to do it for the same. The, those radio cars, they need it, mate. There's where those yeah. slick cars, you get away with it just that little yeah. bit. But, um, yeah, they're just going to... No, if you don't want to run at a radial event, don't run at a radial event. Put slicks on, you know. It's... Yeah, 100%. And the track prep is the final piece of the puzzle, mate. If the track's not there, no one's going to get down it. No one's having fun. So, you know, just yeah. top that a guy, you know, myself and all the other prep guys to keep on top of it. Mate, it's changed a bit, hasn't it, over the last few years in terms of what you guys are going to do? And... Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, it's like picked up little tricks here and there from, you know, um, Tyler and Kurt for sure. Yeah. Yep. And just um, the, the whole different thing of, you know, how many times they hit it with the radials and the slick difference is amazing. And I'm trying to work out a way to make it work for both sides, but it, it's, it's proven hard. Yeah, I mean, you're doing a good job, man. But yeah, like I said, you know, yeah, yeah you got, it's a balancing act, though, really. I mean, to get a track back to slick, you know, preferences after a post-radial event, that sort of shit. Yeah, definitely. And also you have you know, every different racer has their preference of the perfect track, you know, so I have it you know, really tight some days and some of the yeah. bigger countries, oh, it's too bloody tight. I'm like, dude, you got 10,000 horsepower. How the hell is it too bloody tight? But, you yeah, know, yeah. clutch settings and all the jazz, mate. 
So, mate, and the other thing I said, I was I watched the story last week. So, me and Captain, you know, the the, the bike the race, bike, yeah, it's uh, awesome, isn't it? Well, they had some big dramas over there. I don't know if you saw it at, uh, at Valdosta for that last meet because they reckon it was over prep. They were saying, and some of those, uh, particularly the nitrous bikes, were tearing slicks up every pass. Yeah, they, you, you can over prep, and sometimes if you put cars on it uh, too quick, sort of thing, don't give it time to go off, and, um, they'll take it away with them. Yeah, and that makes it crap for the next guy, you know. So there's, yes, timing's the key. Like, you know, sometimes you're getting push, push because you, know, you have a deadline to meet or curfews and stuff. But he, yeah. but yeah, it, I think it is a fine line between over prep and under prep sort of thing, or not fine line, but definitely fine line to getting near the over prepping part. Yep, yep. Hey man, I just want to say hi and uh, hi to you, Megan, and the kids, and uh, all the best for Chrissy and that mate. Thanks for coming on and uh, no, thanks for having me, bud. I'll catch up with you in the new year, and like I said, if you can work it out, anyone can do it, eh? That's it, mate. There's hope for everyone, eh? <laughs> <laughs> good to talk to you, mate. All the best. But, and, so uh, near, bud. Have a good new year, yeah. eh? And I hope Santa doesn't just come through your window. <laughs> I hope we home, so I hope you <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> Good morning, brother. See you, man. Right, see you, buddy. There you go, extra bonus. Dave Hunter on tonight as well. So uh, here we go. All good. Uh, Daniel Pat. All right, guys, that's it. I, uh, I won't hold this any longer. It's been a long show, an hour and a quarter. I think that's been your record. But anyway, um, I'm going to try and do a bit more of this. So I'll try and be a bit more organised. Uh, 2021. Coming up, 2020, you can go and get stuff, you know. Um, and I'm glad you've all come out at the – I hope you've all come out at the end of 2020 um, stronger, stronger, you know. We, we've learned how to deal with some stuff, and uh, I hope everyone's safe and uh, has a good Christmas. And, uh, again, thank you for all your support, and uh, love is all. See you next year. I've got to find the button. Shag her out. <laughs>